Holland out of turn number four. Sitterly got a good job. He has the uh, green coming out of the front straight. Sitterly takes the lead. Bellinger trying to hold off the 91 of Ray Graham heading down the back chute. Bellinger on the inside, Graham on the outside. Graham shoots into second. Here is Gojo, Gosick, Bellinger, Gosick, and Muldoon, the top five. Devendorf right there in the number six spot, Pat Lavery running in seventh, and we got a major pileup over in turn number three. At least four or five cars involved over there. Off the pace just a tad. He is running in eighth, or seventh rather, followed by Bond and Abel right behind him in a little bit of a gap before 10th running, Danny Connors in the 01. 68 of Michael Barnes looked a little bit out of shape that time coming down to move into the top 10. Dave Danzer taking over the number 10 spot. Your race leader, here he is behind Iosu and the 56 of LaTulip trying to get by both of them. Right there now closing ground is the number 91 of Ray Graham Jr. Sitterly finally goes by the 56 of LaTulip Working on the 11 of Lavery is now eighth as Devendorf went by him. Abel still running in ninth and Danzer rounds out the top 10. Coming down off the court. Look at Bellinger going way, way down to the inside to go by the 80. Being told by signals from his pit that he's got a big advantage over the number 91. He comes to the outside now of Graham and Graham not gonna let him by. White flag is out. It is Sean Goslin and Cody Graham trying to hold off the seven not to get lapped. And on the white flag, I don't think Bobby Bond is going to catch the 0-2 of Brandon Bellinger. Checkered flag is being ready. The win going to go to the seven of Otto Sitterly. Sitterly gets the win in the seven. Graham finishes in second. Bellinger is third. His best finish in a long time. Bobby Bond is in fourth. Bellinger gets a podium finish. Double O Joe finishes. Yeah, lap traffic was tough, but the starting position means a lot, especially in the short distance race. So I sort of like the format tonight. Last year, I think we started 15th in both races. But, you know, back to reality in the second race, we start back our ways. I was going to say, what's your game plan now for race number two? Finish. He's got points on the brain, ladies and gentlemen. He wants to finish that second one, but I got a feeling he'll do a little bit more than that. Otto Sitterly and Victor Lane in twin 35, number one. Him down between turns number three and four. Full board coming off the turn number four. Down the front straightaway. Kerr on the bottom side. And they go even. Steven going down into turn number one. Working off at turn number two. Josh Kerr, he gets the nod. Kerr up there in the number two spot. Jay Andrews in count of 93. Riding right tight in that number three spot. Back. Castilla holding on to that number two spot. Castilla looking on the inside. Now look at Dave Cliff in car number 50. He works on the outside of Jay Andrews. He swung to the outside. Now to the inside. And he's got position down there. He is now up to the number three spot. on the inside. Off Castilla going down the back straightaway. Can't get it done. Now he does have a wheel down onto the inside. Watch this paddle right now for the number two spot. They bring it down here in the front straightaway. Dave Cliff is now up to the number two. Dave works up onto the outside, brings it down out of turn number four, and Dave Cliff remains right now in the number two spot, but let go. It's that battle for the number two spot. I'm gonna tell you, those two guys are teammates, but they are really going at it. Mike Bruce still back there in the number four spot, checkered flag is out. The win goes to Josh Kerr. He takes the big win here tonight. Jay Andrews in the number three spot. Finitine in the number three spot. It's going to be Jason Seven. Ladies and gentlemen, here he is, his first career on Swingo Speedway victory. Josh Kerr in the number eight machine. A dominating run there at the end of that 30 lap main event. They didn't have anything for him in the last 10 laps. Future winner. Wow, it's, it's crazy. It's awesome. I was beginning to think this wasn't going to come. It's our fourth year in the car. Uh, We've been chasing it for like a year. We were close last year, and this year we started off real rough. It feels like we went back about 10 steps. In the last couple of weeks, though, we've been coming back. We had a tough break in the heat last week, but we came out and won the heat and feature tonight, and that's awesome. Uh, really, I just got to thank uh, RTS for Trade Services. Uh, my dad and my girlfriend, Kristen, they work on the car with me all week. Uh, Ray Hedger, uh, huge thanks to him. If not for him, we wouldn't be here. Uh, 
This is just awesome. In the front row, coming hauling off that fourth turn. Green flag is out, and it is Connors jumping out in front. Kind of a surprise there. Muldoon takes over second. Here comes Devendorf. Gosick's car seems to bog a little bit. And I'll tell you what, that came out of shape down here in the corner. Man, he gathered up, but he lost it. And now here goes the 51 of Muldoon down to the inside. 06 of Cliff goes into the pitch. 51, Muldoon out in front. Devendorf now gets by Gosick, drifts out here, and they get too far away. Lavery working hard, shoots down to the inside, takes over that number two spot, now moves after the 51 of Michael Muldoon. Muldoon out in front, Lavery now running in second. Connor still third, Devendorf is fourth. Champagne runs out. Sitterly now down to the inside of the 01 of Connors, into the third turn, Sitterly takes over third. Coming down the front straight, 17 laps now completed, 18 remaining. And Lavery has closed right in on the 51 of Muldoon. Sitterly is straight away to the inside, coming out of turn number four. Goes out of the inside, down underneath Lavery, and Sitterly takes over the number two spot. Lavery tries to take it back, can't do it. Well, they come around this time. not really the way I wanted to get it, but I'll take it. Um, it. It feels good to finally get a win, though. Um, I got to thank my dad uh, for the most part. Happy Father's Day to him and all the fathers out there. Um, I want to thank my sponsors, All Car Care Auto, FX Papera, and BBD Powder Coaters. And uh, yeah, I mean, it feels good, but it doesn't feel as good as winning it outright. 